Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, we are going to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury uh, with the products that I got during the Black Friday uh, order on Charlotte Tilbury website and also at Space MK uh, website. So we have here all the products. Did this magic serum. Uh, this I got from uh, Sephora Favorites uh set from i think this year and um uh, i use it a little bit i cannot say uh, i'm a huge fan of this serum um it's hydrating the face let's say uh but yeah it is nice um i will use this one just to moisturize my face let's say and um, on top of this after it sinks to the skin I will use um, this this is Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer a long name so this is uh, practically a sample but um, I think it is a good amount in here uh, that I can use for today and I don't want to layer a lot of skincare so I was thinking this serum it's enough uh, without using uh, um, some other moisturizer uh, at least for me for my skin it is enough uh, I do have here the water cream and I do prefer this um, than the original um, magic cream from her and i don't have any eye primer for her so i use mine from petmograph now for the eyeshadows i have actually two um so this i got from her website uh, it is called pillow talk a dream and this one it is called bigger brighten eyes filter uh yeah so uh, one thing that uh, when I opened this and I had no idea, these are very small. I mean, this retails for 50 euros, I believe, if you buy them by themselves. Maybe I'm mistaken, I will write down if I'm wrong, but these are very small now i'm sure the quality is here but still uh, yeah uh, this got me surprised and when i got this the pillow talk uh, dream one i was thinking okay maybe this is the only one that is kind of that small but then i got the other one <laughs> so yeah the same surprise anyway uh, they are very cute uh, travel friendly uh, you have um, like enough mirror in here let's say for uh to do your makeup and yeah they are sleek and very uh, compact uh but still it is like uh, <laughs> a small eyeshadow i will actually mix and match this uh yeah to achieve an eye makeup look now what i want to say is this is like first impression and how i react to products this doesn't mean they are not good in any way uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it was my surprise because from uh, videos online, um, I really could not tell that this is actually so small. So, uh, yeah, that being said, let's uh, start with the eye makeup. Um, so, I'm actually going to take this palette, which is called Bigger Brighter Eyes Filter. And I'm going to take the shade from here. It is the only matte because this has like three shimmers and one matte. And I'm going to take that matte um, and I'm kind of um, covering all the lid in here. And um, what I can say for like how this apply instant pigment no fallout and uh the coverage it's actually really good and this is not dusty uh this matte eyeshadow so uh yeah this actually i bought it from space nk so i bought it from space nk it come with this uh, little pouch 
and in here i think i got like six products um so uh, it was for the medium um skin tone i believe this palette and everything that is inside um so yeah into this cute palette uh this is the okay <laughs> so one of my eyeshadow just fall down from here uh this was surprising i don't know from what reason so this one just fell uh yeah never happened to me but uh, i will take better care uh so i'm taking a flat <laughs> refire number two uh and i'm actually taking this uh eyeshadow from here uh with this brush and i want to pack this here on kind of the out of corner and i do have some fallout with this it's not only the eyeshadow who is falling out but only <laughs> uh yeah never happened to me i mean i think it happened like long time ago with another brand but uh from the last like makeup i think this is the first uh eyeshadow pan that it's actually falling from uh here i don't know what is the reason uh i swatch it and yeah it performed really well at least it fall down on me and not uh on the floor because otherwise it will be smash flip the brush and take this shade that fall down um, and this is i mean this shimmers i will not say uh, i do like how this looks on the eye and they apply actually really good with a brush which is actually a very nice thing for an eyeshadow because sometimes uh, yeah as i we all see it uh, sometimes can be difficult to apply these shimmers with a brush now i don't want to take the other one the brightest uh, how it is called the bigger brighter eyes and i want to take this shimmer from here from some reason i'm thinking this it's going to be amazing it looks like this i didn't even swatch it uh, but in the pan it looks fabulous and i want to take this and just apply it uh, yeah here in the middle and it does it has some uh, reflection let's say it's almost look like wet it shimmers differently than the other two that I apply from the Pillow Talk Dream. And um, it's a little bit more cool eyeshadow, but uh, I think I do love this one more than the others. The other is more like on the rosy side, which, yeah, I do love them, but I'm not like wow a huge fan of that same palette uh the bigger eyes uh, i think i will take the lightest shade from here uh, to use for my inner corner and yes this is beautifully and actually i don't like how this looks on the eyes and surprisingly this too mini or it's not mini but for me it's like a mini these two eyeshadows palette they actually complement each other really good really really good i did not see that coming so i think these are more like for day-to-day -day use let's say the same brush and i'm going here to piloto dream and i'm taking this shade from here with uh, the tip of this brush and I'm going under the eye with this and this is the brush from Hourglass uh, 11 I do have one code that might get you 20% off 
if you still want to buy anything from them they had like a huge discount or i don't know a glitch in the system uh two days ago i believe when it was 50 percent off uh i did post that code i think it worked for maybe an hour maximum i did place an order to them uh, immediately after i um, saw it because i think it was a glitch but yeah i don't know what happened i'm just glad that uh, <laughs> I uh, my order and it actually is going to be shipped uh, because I receive a confirmation order so I was thinking okay I will place it if they cancel they cancel otherwise I will receive my products so uh, yeah I think it is great and then I will take the this um, like darkest and I'm taking just that color very very close to my lash let's see this is like very uh rosy let's say in a way um i do like this kind of makeup not one of my favorite let's say but uh, yeah i do like it uh, i will take from this uh, bigger eyes or how it is called a little bit of that matte and i'm just blending a little bit here thinking that only like uh, Petmograph has this, uh, I don't know, rosy color. I don't want to say obsession, but like, I don't know. They, she loves very much this rosy tones. So I think uh, Charlotte Tilbury also, because it is kind of that, that vibe in a way, but it is beautiful. I think these eyeshadows are actually really nice for traveling. Um, this one in particular, the bigger eyes filter. Um, this shade, I do love it so much. And I think this is actually great to achieve like a, even a holiday makeup look. It is cute, I will not say. Now, uh, yeah, it is small. The quality is here, however, um, a little bit of fallout uh, from this shade but if you wet the brush i'm sure that will be less a little bit disappointed that this one fell i'm not even uh, turning it because yeah it's enough one time so for now the eyes are kind of done i wipe uh, my under eye area i did have a lot of uh, that glittery eyeshadow under and i did reapply a little bit of that uh, magic serum of this and now I'm going with this primer uh, which I'm actually going to uh, because I don't know how this will or needs to be okay this is more like a highlighter under it is a glow yeah okay so probably it should not be applied where I did apply it, uh, but I'm not applying more of that for sure. And it feels okay, it feels okay on the skin. Really nice. I'm just not into the glowy highlighter, uh, not highlighter, primer, just because I do tend to get oily. Uh, after I apply my makeup, foundation and everything and I do think that actually gives you more glow and I don't need it uh, but I think it is a nice product I think it is a nice product even used by itself if you ask me without any foundation or just concealer and this is actually uh, gives you like a healthy glow on the skin uh, it will be your skin but better so yeah i believe this is like how at least i will use it this one uh so i'm glad that i have like a sample and i did not buy this one because my lips are very dry i'll take this this i received in that set um that i told you this is called collagen lip bath um so it looks like this and i do have very like uh 
so this has like plumping effect okay we shall see because i do feel my lips very very dry and i do like that this uh, lip glosses from her actually have this heart applicator and this smells like candy like mint candy so let's see if actually it has plumping effect um if it has this burning effect so it says plump effect collagen care for the appearance of fuller wider fresher lips glide over your lips for instant volumizing lip care um i think i start to feel a little bit of tingling but it's not something unbearable uh but yeah it started to feel that plumping that at least the one from Too Faced, the one that I, in my opinion, for me, that actually does, at least for two hours, my lips look bigger. But that, after you apply, you have that instant burning effect. If you don't like that, if you're sensitive, no, the lips will get red. Uh, with this, it's something bearable. It's cooling and tingling in the same time, but you don't feel, I mean, I don't feel that burning uh, feeling uh, like unbearable, let's say. Uh, now for foundation, uh, because it was an offer on her Black Friday, it was one plus one. So I bought two. I bought five and 5.5. .5. And actually I will take the five um, because I saw someone reviewing this actually yesterday by mistake. I even didn't search it. And uh, she was uh, telling and um, saying her opinion about this and um, appearing, it's appearing to be oxidating this one. Now I did not use it. Uh, I don't even know if these two shades are like uh, going to match me now or it's more for like summertime uh, this is her airbrush flawless foundation stay all day and night okay I do love the packaging it is glass it feels luxurious uh, but if it is dark and it does oxidate on me uh, then yeah we'll see so same drill I'm going to um, take it in the back on my hand uh, this is how it looks it is a little bit liquid and it looks orange okay <laughs> i will take the same brush from uh hourglass i mean the same brush the brush that i always use from uh hourglass and this is i don't think i got my shade this looks orange like really really orange um, yeah so it is I don't know it is full coverage from what I understood yes it is full coverage but the shade um, from the swatches and what I've seen I was sure that this is going to be my match have a nice smell and I think this one actually, yeah, I think um, this will be great for me in the summer or at least when I am 10. This is orange. This is orange. I'm feeling myself like an orange carrot now. <laughs> Let's take a beauty blender and i'm trying to blend this a little bit now uh, this color it is definitely not my color i did pick uh, a wrong shade so i don't know if i would have picked a lighter one if it will is going to be um, also orange or anything so yeah that is my bad uh, let's say but um this looks beautiful on the skin like if you uh, take the color and i'm just uh, saying what i'm seeing on my skin uh it gives a beautiful luminosity and it is full coverage i mean it covered here and here um 
so beside the color that is definitely not mine uh, this looks beautifully on the skin probably i will be uh, using this one for sure in the summertime uh, or at least when i like i'm more um then let's say um, her concealer but i'm going to take uh, the pat mcgrath concealer this is in shade l2 and uh, i'm going to apply and trying to yeah lighter this a little bit to see what we are going to do with this is how it looks um, it is still dark i brighten a little bit under the eyes uh, but yeah definitely a wrong choice however it does look beautiful on the skin this foundation um, it feels okay it is a full one i will see how this wears and next i'm using uh, this um, this is uh, airbrush brightening flawless finish uh, and uh, again this was from her website one plus one i do have it in like a clear version uh, but let's take it i will just take with this uh, fluffy brush from uh, our glass and i heard people saying good stuff about this so we will see And I think also this uh, brightens in a way a little my foundation. I mean, definitely I can work that foundation, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, my mistake because I took two shades that are really close, saying go in the store and actually <laughs> swatch the product. Then I don't have a bronzer. Uh, but i do have this cheek to uh, cheek swish and glow blusher and this also uh, this came in uh, a set from space and k and this is for like medium it is uh, beautiful uh, i think also in this tone rosy tones uh, i do love the packaging of her very very much i will take the same fluffy brush and I'm just going to like dip in here to mix all the color. And this is how it looks after. Let's apply it. Yeah, definitely uh, the same rosy vibes. And this is beautiful. I do like it. How it looks does not have any kind of smell let's say but with this color actually uh, i don't even need a bronzer it is enough and what i like about this that this is actually uh, like buildable in a way so um yeah not crazy pigment from the start of course i'm just dipping very just barely touching this but now at least um how it looks it started to like have a shape in a way and i did blend it that foundation really good to not be looking <laughs> different than my skin now in that set i also got an eye powder pencil um so I is how it looks it's more like a dark brown and i will be applying that i want to apply that actually in my waterline okay it does have pigment really nice uh, i do like this this is in shade uh, classic brown uh, do like it it does have pigment uh, it comes in this without a sharpener um, and i do like it that you it is the wood so you actually can sharpen this and uh, 
it has 24 months availability so that's nice also um, a mascara full fat lashes five uh, star mascara how it looks um, is how the brush looks and it feels a little bit dry and i do like this mascara it uh, it feels dry but actually uh it does not like overload my lashes and it's adding product it's exactly like adding forced lashes but in a very subtle way let's say this is how um, like one eye looks with it without so you can i can see a difference actually it is nice now again any mascara that you you use i always say it's also about how your natural lashes are uh, because mine uh, curl by itself so this is something that i don't actually search in a mascara i know that whatever mascara i will use i will have that curling effect uh but uh i do like this it looks very uh natural in a way but i will see how this wears eyes are like done i did apply a little bit of clear brow gel from anastasia i removed this uh plumping uh uh, product uh, from my lips and now yeah I have two more products uh, that I have to uh, like use I do have a lip liner in here this is the lip liner that I got in shade love trap now I did uh, try these lip liners in a mini and I did like the formula of this. These are very creamy. I do like very much this formula and I do like very much this color of the lip liner. So love track is the perfect brown berry, but more on the brown side. It's like, I don't know, purplish, very pretty. I do like very much this one. So this is nice in a set because you get to try like a lot of products. And I did get this at, it was almost 35% off. It was the last day of Black Friday on them. Uh, so they added 10% uh, off more. And next I have uh, Super Star Lips, Glossy Star Lip uh, in shade Sexy Lips. This is how the packaging looks. And uh, this is how the lipstick looks. Now, um, regarding the lipstick, uh, uh, like packaging this I mean not this kind of format in a lipstick it's something that I always want it is sleek and very I don't know slim um, this kind of shape um, helps you to apply really good uh, lipstick without even needing a mirror uh, this is uh, how the shade looks yes this is more like a lip gloss shine but this lip combo it is perfection i don't usually use lip combos i don't use the like lip liners and everything this is how the uh, lipstick looks uh, by itself and i will swatch now the lip liner here so this is how they look uh, on my hand now this is like the perfect you know that trend with cherry cola this has a little bit of cherry inside this uh, how it is called sexy lips actually it kind of feels like sexy and i think all this look together worked perfectly the eye makeup with the what i have on the cheeks with the lipstick i do like it uh, very much every product that i had from her and i used now um if i were to like 
pass through all these products. The eyeshadows, uh, this is the Bigger Dreams and the other one, the Pillow Talk, the one that fall down. Uh, what I want to say about this. Uh, first, I don't think this is worth $50 or how much it is cost. Uh, now it's Charlotte Tilbury, the quality is here, they have pigment with the mattes, no problem. With the shimmers, you do have a little bit of fallout. Uh, travel friendly, big mirror, uh, but yes, uh, the best way I think to get these ones is on sales or like one plus one, uh, depending on, on the what you get to choose. Uh, but um, yeah, for how much product you get in here, so you get six grams of product. I don't know, this for me looks very, very small for the money that you pay. So probably if I will like purchase again, it will be like in a set, how I purchase now or one plus one or at some kind of sales. But otherwise, uh, this is a pass. Um, and also because of the color story, you don't have too much from what to choose. I mean, for me, this color story, it's a little bit boring. I know many people love this just because it is a day-to-day -day usable. For me personally, I'm more like a colorful makeup person, let's say, and I do like to have a little bit of color, at least one of these to have something different. Um, again, uh, I think also you can get like very monochromatic looks with this one. If you have only this, I mean, you'll get something like this. It doesn't matter. Of course, you can choose to add only the shimmers to your eyelid and then mascara. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, the quality is here, however, I don't think it is worth the price, so sales or like some kind of offers, yes. Uh, regarding the foundation, uh, now first impression, of course, it is the wrong shade, my mistake. Uh, I love the packaging, I love, I love how it looks on the skin now. Um, of course, I don't know how this will wear. I will see it and I will write you in the comments exactly how this wears. It is full coverage. I did not cover this with any concealer so you can see the coverage that it has. Um, now for like if it oxi oxidates or not, <laughs> I cannot tell you because it was already orange when I applied to my skin. Uh, so yeah, the color was a big no and the other one that I got, I think it's more darkened. So yeah, but it feels nice on the skin. It feels uh, like skin. It doesn't feel sticky uh, or anything. And overall, I like it, the feeling of it. Um, I also use this one. This one, as I told you before, uh, I will use this product just in days that I don't want any foundation, apply it all over and leave it like to give me a very glow, healthy look. Otherwise, I don't tend to use this kind of product on me. Um, this serum that I use under foundation, uh, probably with the foundation, it does look beautifully. Uh, now, it is a serum. You can use any kind of serum. I don't think it's like magic. If you ask me, I'm glad that I got this in like a mini so I can try. It is like any kind of serum. Again, if you find it in set or in sales. Otherwise, uh, I don't know how much this is like full size product. But um, for sure, I will not buy it as it is at full size. Maybe if I will get it in like a makeup set or anything. Yes. Um, this powder that I got um, now on top of foundation it does feel really nice um, I do love the packaging very much all all the packaging of her I do love it it is sleek it is luxurious uh, so it kind of feels very very bougie I don't know I do like it uh, the product, I do have to use it um, a little bit more, but 
it does give me that healthy glow uh, and uh, it, you don't feel it you don't see it on the face it did not make my foundation look cakey so that is a plus um, also this uh, blush uh, duo that i try i do like it that is not very pigmented just because you can work with it and you can boil this up for sure it is meant for medium um, skin tones just because uh, the foundation is darker than my skin so uh, it did show on this foundation uh, I do think it is nice again same kind of packaging that I like uh, this mascara good it does the job uh, now I don't know exactly how much it cost full size uh, full price this one uh, probably I will get it in a set I don't think it will like I will pay I mean for me if you ask me um, I will not pay the full price of any luxurious mascara. I always get them in a makeup set or in sales just because I think the ones from drugstore does the same job uh, for me. So I don't kind of see the reason why I should pay more for like the brand. Uh, but it is a nice one and now I get it in this set. So it is a plus. Uh, the eye pencil. I did not expect to have this kind of pigment under uh, I will see if it will move or not to my from my waterline because this is what matters it is a uh, brown so it's classic brown it is a nice one I do like it nice packaging nothing to say wrong uh, then uh, the lip liner very much I love the uh, color uh next is this uh how it was called collagen lip bat uh it does have a little bit of that tingling nothing too extreme at least for me uh in my opinion i don't think it plumped my lips uh it does have that it does give hydration and you do feel your lips uh, very like hydrating in a way but no plumping effect for me i think this is more like a lip balm that you can apply it and you have a little bit of that cooling and tingling effect in the first minutes then it is gone so yeah probably not buying this in like a full price uh, again in a set it is a nice product but yeah i don't think it is actually worth the full price lip liner i told you it's already really nice i do love it they are very creamy this color i do love it very much and now this lipstick that i never tried before this is glossy glossy star lit lip looks in uh, sexy lips i do like this one i do like the color and i do like the formula and uh, together with uh, the lip liner that i got i think it is a nice combo I do love very much this packaging, one of my favorite from all. Uh, now, of course, this is a shiny lipstick. Uh, it will not last probably for longer. In combination with this lip liner, probably it will like uh, you will have it just for a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I do like it. And what I can say, I um, probably if I would purchase these items by myself each of everyone um, yeah it will cost me a lot more now i got this in a set or one plus one which is actually a big deal uh, currently i think charlotte tilbury has 20 percent off on her website and i think the only mystery box that is remaining is the one with skincare uh, i think that one it's one one uh, 111 dollars or euros and then she has another one that you can choose two more products uh, I think this one so the powder and then a foundation that you can actually choose shades and that one it's one almost 160 euros I think so if you want to try products from her I think that mystery box actually are good uh, you pay half price from some products you get also full size products so in a way it is good to try them and uh, yeah otherwise 
um, this is my opinion about all these products that I tried. Uh, I'm just very <laughs> bad that uh, I don't pick a lighter foundation to have it. I don't know what was in my mind, but anyway, uh, the majority of this product, I do like it. I do love them. Uh, it is nice to have it. I will not say it is not. Uh, for sure, more than half of this product are not worth the full price, at least for me. If you get it on sales, makeup sets or on other offers, a big yes. Uh, they are very good products. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, if I had to pick some products that I will actually like like very much and I will go to the store and buy uh, pay full price I will say it will be the lip liners uh, then uh, the lipstick but not the one that I tried the, the original lipstick the matte lipsticks I like very much this formula this is her original pillow talk uh, product uh, then I think I will go with uh, this powder I do think it is nice so this is kind of my product that I actually would pay let's say full price for them uh, the others uh, yeah I don't know the foundation I don't know just because I don't have my color and I don't know if it does oxide and here I have nowhere to go and like ask for like a sample to see um, how it works but yeah this was my video again it will be a long video i will link everything that i use down below uh, if you shop through my links it will help my channel i will earn a small commission i'm thank you very much because you uh, are watching my videos and you are here with me uh, tell me in the comments if you tried any of these products what is your opinion about them and uh, yeah this was everything for today's video uh thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye this is how it looks outside um, i think it looks great except for foundation but i do like very much the eye look